The city of Mogadishu hasn't seen this much building activity for years. Over the past two decades, vast areas of the Somali capital have been reduced to rubble, destroyed in a brutal and bloody civil war that cost thousands of lives and forced many more to flee. The atmosphere today is very different. The people are rebuilding their houses, businesses are coming back. Somali diaspora, who are one of the uh, largest economic born in uh, Somalia, is coming back to help the business community, as well as to help the civil servants and government officials. Mogadishu is now relatively peaceful, though there are still suicide bombing attacks. But the heavy fighting ended in August last year, when the Al-Qaeda-backed insurgents Al-Shabaab were finally forced out of the city. It is not a case of life returning to normal, but life at last becoming stable. Rebuilding is going on across the country. Houses are getting very, very expensive. You used to be able to rent one room for 10 US dollars, but that's not possible anymore. It now costs 40 dollars. God willing, I hope more people return back and rebuild the country. The rising prices are being caused by people returning to the city, like local businessman Abdul Rahman. He had to flee his shop in Bukhara Market three years ago when the fighting became too intense. I'm one of the Bukhara Market businessmen, and after returning to the market, the situation is good. People are shopping a lot, they are buying our stuff. We sell cosmetics and it's different kinds, such as perfumes, fragrance and creams. Before the war, Mogadishu was considered one of Africa's most beautiful cities. There's a long way to go before it will ever be considered that again. Tens of thousands of people still live in makeshift camps. But the future is finally looking up here, and with more people returning, there's a chance it could one day regain its former glory.